yeah so a cute little integral and um this one is actually like not too hard but it's still cool so let's do it so to start make the substitution that u be equal to um root e to the x plus one now um then let's rewrite this so that it's easier to take its derivative and that would be like that then du would have to be one half times e to the x plus one to the negative one half times e to the x times dx yeah cool um and then we could rewrite du a bit cleaned up as one half times one divided by u poor division sign sorry one divided by root um e to the x plus one but remember root e to the x plus one was u so we can write one over u instead and then times e to the x well based on this what would e to the x have to be well if we square both sides of um, this expression I just circled up here right this guy here then we could write u squared is equal to e to the x plus one and then subtracting one from both sides of this equation I just wrote u squared minus one is equal to e to the x cool so that's what e to the x equals right here so then we write u squared minus one dx now remember we have to solve for dx doing that we could write 2u du divided by u squared minus one is equal to dx yeah cool so then we're able to now substitute um, all these new things into our integral and rewrite our original integral all in terms of u in particular we have one over u um, times dx I just worked out so let's save some time copy paste here we are and now we could do this boom boom take out the two in front of the integral and then we've got um, du divided by u squared minus one now this is partial fraction decomposition so if you do that carefully and it's simple partial fraction decomposition which is why I'm not showing the details but if you do it carefully then you should be able to write two times negative a half over u plus one and then plus positive and a half positive a half um, sorry I don't know what I was gonna say there divided by u minus one du yeah cool now um, I don't need this guy anymore but seems seems like I can't erase it sometimes I don't understand this tool even though I love it now distribute this to here and there and so then we could rewrite our integral to read um, integral of uh, negative so I can take out the negative in front 1 over uh, u plus 1 du and we can split them into two integrals plus integral of um, positive 1 over u minus 1 du and it's clear that the answer to this should be negative ln of um, u plus 1 and then plus um, ln of uh, u minus 1 plus c and the only thing left to do is to substitute back what we said was u and um, well yeah I had the answer the final answer copied and pasted so that I didn't have to rewrite square root of e to the x plus 1 to replace there and there but um, it looks like I copied and pasted something else so can't do that so I'll leave it here yeah because all you have left to do is just replace this u with square root of e to the x plus 1 and do the same with that u and by the way the absolute values are unnecessary because the quantities you have inside the absolute values of ln in this problem are both positive yeah okay just a side note take care